What's up, everybody? Michael Silva here. You're watching episode 36 of The Weekly Scan. Yeah. Today's February 6th. We have a lot to go over today. You'll notice my camera is turned off, and that is simply because we got a lot of charts to cover, 13 to be exact, in no particular order. And I'm going to kind of walk you through while I'm sitting here in my office, drinking a beer from Device Brewing called What the Haze, smelling my candle that's lit, you know, just chill day. I'm going to walk you through these 13 charts. They're all on my watch list. I'm going to walk you through kind of how I would go about trading them. I'm not in any of these uh, stocks. Uh, well, actually, I take that back. I'm in one stock, but I posted that on Twitter, ticker symbol S-O-L-O, -O, and I'll get I'll go over that too as well, okay? Um, if you don't have experience in the stock market, as a quick disclaimer, um, this isn't financial advice, okay? This, that's not what this is. These are just my opinions, my opinions only. I'm just showing you what I would do um, if I were to trade these um, come into next week. All right, so let's just go ahead and get right into today's episode. All right, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and crack that brew up. So, you know, have a beer, drink some water, whatever. Just chill with me here as we go through all these charts. Okay. It takes time to get all these charts in line and to tr create trade plans. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to walk you through it. Okay. First one is ticker symbol MUX. All right. Why this one specifically? Well, first off, we broke out of a base of consolidation, flew to the moon very quickly during that whole silver squeeze, Wall Street bets sort of thing. This is a mining company. And then we pre basically fell off the face of earth uh, there shortly after. Now, you might be thinking, well, it could head lower. Yep, it can head lower. But this candle right here is known as a hammer candle um, or just a long, lower shadowed candle, all right? Has a lot of volume coming in, which is nice. And why is that so important to look at? Well, first off, we've had this pullback into previous resistance. So resistance, resistance, resistance. And now we're seeing a lot of volume with a long, lower wick bouncing at an area of support because um, re resistance that's broken then can become support. Now, how would I go about trading something like this if there was to be a bounce? Well, I would want to get in. Um, I would want to wait for confirmation to see maybe if the day closes above this previous high, which is at 1.18, or I can get in um, intraday if the price action goes up there. If it doesn't get above there, I wouldn't be getting into this particular stock. Um, just know that we are pulling back pretty dramatically. That's a big, big decrease coming into the 200 period, the 20 period, the 50 period, and this area with some volume. So it is setting itself up for a balance. Now, how high can that go? Well, I'm not too sure, but I would probably look at right around 1.25 and then also right here at 1.32 for potential targets. As far as a stop loss goes, I would want my stop loss below the low of this candle if I get entered in, and then I would move it below the low of the next candle after the day closes out. And I would just walk the stop loss up as time continues. So this does look like a potential, has has the potential to bounce. I like the volume. I like the area that it's uh, bringing the volume in. I like this candle. It shows, you know, bulls stepped up. You know, it was one big red candle, and then people started buying in at a dollar um, and some change there and push it right back up. So it was down 4% on the day, but it was down significantly more um, intraday. So that's the first one. Next one on the list is ticker symbol CVM. This also just broke out of this base and just talk about just a very, very fast moving stock. Like notice here, it was at $14 when it broke out. In a single day, it squeezed all the way up to $40, okay? So this is just, just to kind of wrap your head around this, extremely volatile, all right? High beta stock. It's a volatile compared to the market. So you need to be very careful. You know, you don't want to just YOLO all your money and things like this because the chances are, you know, you can get burned very quickly. And I want you to pay attention to these long upper wicks here, okay? When this when this kind of squeeze happened. Long upper whips wicks represent people buying in at those levels and people selling, but people bought. So if you were selling here, there's people buying there. That means there's people trapped up at about $40 and $38 and $36 and $34 and $28 while the price action closed at $23, all right? You don't want to be the people that get caught up in here. No, you don't. Okay, so why, why am I showing you this chart? Well, first off, big volume. Now we're seeing the contraction of volume right here. So still, it's accumulating nicely. And now we see it pull back and we saw some strength the other day, 12.49% up. Look at this candlestick formation. All right. My idea here is, hey, can we find another squeeze? Can we play another squeeze? And I think that is very possible to play another squeeze. It might not squeeze as, as high as this. It might. But 
The overall context of the chart right now is bullish. You have the 20 period above the 50 and the 50 above the 200. They're sloping up. And this three bar candle pattern right here is known as a morning star pattern. Actually, is it an evening? Yeah, morning star. I believe it's called a morning star. Don't quote me on that, but there's psychological um, you know, value to understanding what it actually means. So let's just walk you through what that kind of psychological look is. So first off, bunch of people selling, scared, 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 trapping buyers up. And then all of a sudden, you know, big two, big red candles. Again, people are very scared here. But then all of a sudden we get this small little doji candle, this small range candle, meaning that, hey, okay, maybe now the selling is kind of subsiding just a little bit. All right. And then it was followed up by a big green day. So a lot of buyers stepped up here. This right here is a nice reversal type pattern. So if we start breaking above $24, I would consider buying into that and playing a short-term trade to potentially squeeze, you know, to $28. And if it breaks through that, it can go even higher to say $34 or $40. Now you want to make sure you're trimming you know, along the way up, you want to be able to sell into the big moves, not buy into the moves like the people over here. You want to pocket profits up in here and not lose your profits on the way down. So yes, obviously you want a tight stop loss here. We are putting in higher lows as you can see. Um, you want a stop loss below the low of the candle when you enter in and then potentially even just below the um, breakout area of 24. So you can have it just below $24. And then depends on where the candle kind of finishes, you can have it at the low of that candle as well. So there's a, diff a bunch of different ways to play it, but my eyes are on this. Just know that this one's very, very volatile, very fast mover. Here is ticker symbol um, ICLK. And really, I just want to call out this tightly high and, so a high and tight pennant. Okay, that's what this is right here. So RSI is super frothy, huge volume accumulation, huge move that broke out of this basing pattern. We had an ascending triangle, bam, now we have a symmetrical triangle. So we have one, two, three, four bars of consolidation. And this last day was up 3.62%, very solid looking candle. Can we break above $18? And then I would consider, hey, um, that could be a good buying opportunity to see if this thing has some more legs to push higher. I would have a tight stop loss and trim targets as it continues to move up. So if we do continue to break, we might see some more days like this ahead of us if we can break out, obviously, of this bull, plan, bull pennant, bull flag pattern. Here's ticker symbol A bus, ascending triangle. This one looks very similar to the solo trade. Um, I can't remember what the short squeeze is here exactly, but what I will call out is the MACD had a bullish crossover. It's above zero, so that is good sign right there. We have higher lows, and we're coming into this area of resistance. So you can speculate a, a breakout trade. Actually, let me add one more thing. Also, the context of the chart is bullish. We have the 200. You can see it peeking its head down here, sloping up. You have the 50 period. It's nice spread, and it's also sloping up. The um, short-term trend, the 20 period moving average is quite flat, all right? But you can notice this hammer candle, it was one big red day and then bounced back up. So it's a very big possibility that we continue this move. We might bounce around and continue to bounce around a little bit longer. So if you don't want to play within CHOP, you want to wait for confirmation that we get a daily close above $4.40 or we're about to have a daily close above $4.40 because you also don't want to get trapped in a fake breakout like this candle where it came up and if people started buying in and held it and then bam, got chopped down to the downside. So you got to play it very carefully, very tactfully, and you got to make sure that you're not, you know, like I said, like all the stocks that we're going to go over today. You don't want to leverage yourself up too much on these specific trades. Here's ticker symbol F-I-Z-Z, -Z, Fizz. Just want to call out once again, big move, big breakout of this resistance. You can see it just flew up to the sky. And then we have a very tight falling wedge pattern. Um, the only nasty part here is the MACD is crossed over. That's a bearish crossover as it's heading down lower, uh, but it's still above zero. So you can take that into consideration. That's a good sign. Uh, I would say the way that I would play this, um, I would play the risk first reward as I would enter in right around this uh, red box here. And I would have a stop loss below the 50 period moving average and below this prior um, resistance. Um, by doing so, it gives you good odds to pull in and potentially catch a bounce to the upside. Um, a bounce to the upside or even a breakout of this falling wedge could really bring this thing up, you know, right up to 140, 145, which is a huge move given that it's at, you know, right around um, a low of the last trading day at 108. So that'd be a, you know, a large per share, a dollar per share move there. So very, very 
uh, just nice looking pattern technically overall. Got a little bit ahead of itself. Now there's a lot of panic. Now, hey, maybe we might see a little bit of a bounce here in the very near future. Here's sticker symbol SAVA. This one, you got to you gotta be very patient with because as of right now, it hit a high of you know 120 and now it's trading around $45. So this thing is a monster. So you want to make sure your position sizes are accurate for your portfolio. And you got to be patient because I'm not going to be entering where the price is right now, but I would consider it more door towards down towards 25. Why? Well, it gapped from this area way over and went on a runner. Now, if the gap gets filled, that can act as an area of support. All right, so it was resistance, resistance, then it gapped over. When it comes down, it can act as an area of support. If it comes down to this $25 level, we might catch a bounce. That bounce could bounce all the way up to $60. So that could be a very, very large move for this specific stock. Overall, volume, obviously just huge amounts of volume coming in as of recent. And then we have nice bullish trend. We have the 20 above the 50 and that's above the 200. So everything's in good context. It just got way overextended, way past, you know, where it should have been. So now it's kind of just caught falling back, you know, gravity's taking place. It goes up and now it comes back down. Now we got to look for an area of support that we can potentially buy. Now, obviously you want to put a, an alert on this one just to see if it does come down there because, you know, like I said, it's, it's still, it's still got a long way to go to come down to 25. But as we've seen, in just two trading days that dropped from 120 to 45 it, it might be one day before it reaches there it could be two or three or it might not who knows but that's how i personally would trade it here's ticker symbol s-o-l-o -O. this is the one that i did already enter into and i've already removed some of my position um, i bought in at um i believe it was eight dollars and 45 cents i posted that on my twitter if you don't follow me on twitter tiktok instagram whatever you can follow me there i do post um charts intraday and just various other things but I bought in at 8.45 and then we saw this nice big move to the upside. And then when I knew that it was coming into resistance, 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 I sold 30% of my position the next day down 8%. I'm still positive, obviously, because I sold um, and because I bought lower than where it closed. Uh, but I would really like to see it break above $9.50. And if we get that break above $9.50, we can get a nice big squeeze, potentially all the way up to $13. So that'd be, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That'd be a $4 per share move. And I think I have 100 shares. So that'd be a quick $400 um, in a relatively, you know, quick manner if we get that squeeze. Because this is a highly shorted stock here as well. Here's ticker symbol XXII. And this is just a very nice ascending triangle. Hasn't broken above this previous high. So you can wait for confirmation to get above um, or you can speculate that it's going to break out. That's always possible too. We have some nice volume coming in. The MACD looks like it's about to have a bullish crossover. So that'd be a good sign. The RSI is trending up nice. It's not overbought, not oversold. So, you know, if we get a nice daily close above, you know, 310, 312, a daily close, this thing could shoot a lot higher. Um, like I said, I do like the higher lows building and the technical pattern and the context of the chart. You have the 20 period sloping up. So that's the short term trend. You have the medium to long term trend, the 50 and the 200. They're just all trending up, swimming up a river. So this is not something that you really want to get into short. This is something that you would look for pullbacks and buy into to get some moves to the upside or play a breakout like so. Here's ticker symbol DDS, Dillards, Dillards, traded on the NYSE. Uh, obviously a lot of panic since it reached up to 130. So just a gnarly move in a short period of time Look from this 20 period moving average. Notice how it's been trading on the 20 period moving average. And sometimes it gets woof way above it. So we got short term up, medium term up, long term. You can see it poking its head here. The only downside on DDS is yes, the MACD is a bearish crossover, but it is above zero. So I'm looking for a breakout above a close above, I'd say $87. And the reason why is because we have a lot of momentum to the downside. We created a nice hammer candle. So I like playing these, but we need to get confirmation on this hammer candle. I like this so far because the price is still um, holding on the 20 period moving average. And we're getting a lot of small range candles here. So well, big, scary move. And then all of a sudden the range of the candles um, is, is signaling to me, hey, this is this is compressing. It's slowing down a little bit. So the, the moment, momentum to the downside is subsiding. So maybe we can get a bounce. And the bounce that I want is above the high of this um, hammer candle. So that's when I would enter in. And then I would have a stop loss um, below the previous day's candle and then continue to move that up as time goes until basically I'm stopped out of the position. But if we get an overextended move like something like how that happened, I would definitely sell portions of 
the position off too as well. So got to be patient on this one. But if we do crack above it, I think we can get a little bit of a move. So it'd be a short-term trade. Here's sticker symbol APHA. Okay, we had a bull flag, broke out of the bull flag. Now we have some small range candles signaling, okay, this move might be consolidating or it might be over. So I am watching for a breakout above $17.50. Notice the higher lows, okay, but it's still resistance at $17.50. So what we'd like to see is a break above $17.50, you know, be it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whenever, um, with some strong volume. But periods of consolidation like this in bullish context, very good, very healthy. So we will see how this one plays out. But me personally, I would wait for a breakout above 1750 and buy into the momentum. And then I would just remove profits very quickly. You can also potentially play if it pulls back into about $15. You can do that as well and, and have a tight stop loss below this, which is $15. So you'd have a stop loss below there. You'd buy at the bottom of the channel and then hope that it bounces to the upper portion and potentially breaks out after that. So another good little setup there. Here's ticker symbol PLTR. This is one that I called out I think on my last weekly scan or the one before that or it was on Twitter, I can't really remember, but we broke out of this ascending triangle and then we have what's called, you know, a be right back trade. <laughs> it's a back test. So it broke out of resistance. It came back to back test. We have some small range candles in bullish context. And we had this nice little green candle breaking out of these last two days. And it's getting kind of above this day right here as well. So if we get some continuation or break above the high of the last trading day, which is at 3520, this thing could potentially move back up to test the all time high at 44. That would be a large percentage point gain and relatively could be a short period of time. Now, what I want to also call out is periods of consolidation like this, when they break out, this is normal to get back tests. And when they get back tests, it, it validates this as an area of support. So resistance, 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 once resistance is broken, it then becomes support. So if this holds, that means that this level is a technical relevant level and it looks like it's doing so this far. So I like this setup. It looks pretty healthy. I would, I would, this is something that I personally would be looking into on Monday to get into to potentially play up to around 40 to $44 and then remove more of my position as time goes. So I like this setup. Here's ticker symbol BLNK, another ascending triangle. Uh, you know, there's so many ways you can draw out this current pattern, but notice how it goes up, consolidates down, breaks out, consolidates down, breakout, consolidate down, breakout, consolidate down. Now I'm wondering, hey, will we get the breakout? And what I would like to see is a breakout above um, $57.50. Uh, that would, that to me would signal that this thing could potentially go a lot higher. Overall context of the chart, very nice. The 20 period sloping up, 50 sloping up. The red um, 200 period moving is just sloping up. The only kind of downside to, to this specific stock is you can clearly see a negative divergence in the MACD. All right, and this could be potentially rounding itself out to be a long-term topping pattern. So that is always something to consider. However, if you're a short-term trader and you play the breakout, notice on the side here how just how you know aggressive the um, numbers go from one to another. So it's a very volatile, very fast-moving stock. It's a high beta stock, but um, you know with high risk can come high reward. Uh, so you got to manage your manage your stops very carefully here and lower lower your position size if it, if you're not comfortable with taking larger swings but overall yeah this thing looks pretty solid if we get above $65 this thing could really start screaming all right, the last one is ticker symbol KIRK. I've shown this one off many of times in many different scans, but I wanted to just call out, it's still in bullish context. The RSI is nice. The, the MACD is trending up, although it is losing a little bit of momentum here, it looks like, but that could be just because it's consolidating. Notice how it broke up, you know, got resistance, resistance, support down here. So it's kind of channeling. So what you want to do is play a breakout above these um, previous candle wicks. So that's right, you know, 29.50, you wanna get above there, or you can buy more towards the 20 period and then potentially play a bounce from 25 higher. And then you can just have a stop loss below the 20 period moving average. So you can play the breakout um, and then be very, you know, quick to take profits, or you can play um, a pullback. So a couple ways to play this, I like them both. Um, I've traded this stock many times, um, not in the current position, but I will be keeping an eye on for a breakout or a pullback, one of the two here in the near future. All right, so that is all I have on this week's weekly scan. Um, Timestamps are in the description below if you want to go back and review any of that. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and see you back on Monday.